Hello everyone and welcome welcome to another episode of Homing TV. Today I will tell you about some of the most useful but underrated tools and features in Dorico Pro. Some of them are only available in the latest version of Dorico, so make sure to have the latest version installed. And for your information, the version I have is 5.1.6. Alright, so let's go. Number one, if you're continuously cranking up the volume of your computer or speaker to hear your notes when working on projects and you are annoyed as I am, you can actually increase the volume of your instruments in the mixer of Dorico. And to do that, you can easily press F3 on your keyboard or hit the mixer button right here to open the mixer. Yep, all right. So, and as you can see, for some reason, Dorico initiates the projects with the faders set below zero dB. And usually it's around six. So what you can do, you can just raise them up. You can just raise your tenor voice. For example, for me, it's just the tenor voices. You can raise them up. If this was not enough, then you can go here and you can raise your output. And this should be already enough uh, extra volume for you to continue your work. Number two, this one is my favorite and it's called the scrub tool. So say you're composing some complex chords or a fancy orchestration and you want to hear and focus on the sound. You can easily use the scrub tool to hear your notes at the same time for the duration that you want. And to do that, easily just click on this speaker up here to enable the scrub playback. <laughs> You can also use this tool uh, temporarily if you press and hold control and space on your keyboard. Number three, if you are following Dorico's evolution, you have noticed that Dorico has currently implemented playback of fermatas. And you can change the duration of each hold and pause individually in the lower panel. You can learn about them in this video. And of course, this is per project. But if you want to create a setup that always works in uh, all of your projects, you can use this method that I'm going to tell you. What you can do is that wherever you are, just press Ctrl Shift P on your keyboard and this will open the playback options. Once you have the window, just write in the search box, pause it. And here you can modify all the timings as you please. If you want, you can also turn off Fermata playback by unchecking this option here. Number four, did you know that you can use the Alt key to increase the speed of your workflow? A fellow subscriber was kind enough to share it with us. A special thanks to DJKL Productions. And also, if you have any tips or tricks, share it with us in the comment section and I will make sure to feature it in the coming videos. So let's now talk about the Alt key. Exhibit A, using Alt to cycle through your grace note types. Let's add a grace note. So I'm gonna uh, enter note input, hit slash on my keyboard and just write a note, all right? Now, if you want to change the grace note type, I can just go to the left panel, right click, and as you can see, you have these two options. But then if you want a bit of a more quick approach to this, you can hold Alt and press the slash button to cycle through the grace notes. Let me zoom in. Exhibit B is to make an harmonic notation. It's super easy. Just highlight a note. So for example, again, this one, I'm gonna click, uh, well, hold Alt on my keyboard and then press plus or minus. As you can see, the unharmonic note is added here. And the last exhibit, which is exhibit C, 
is that you already know that you can use shift V to add new voices to your score. And you can also use the left panel here to create voices. But now here's a trick. If you see here in the left side, if I right click here, you only see three options. But if you press Alt and Shift and V while adding voices, you get the fourth option, which is the slash notes without stem. So let's try it out. I'm going to zoom in here. Let's say I'm going to do Alt. I'm going to enter into note input first. Whoop. By pressing Alt, Shift, V. This is the first one. Second time. Third time. And as you can see now, this is your fourth method of adding an extra voice. And it's like the stemlet um, slash note. Pretty handy because you don't really have it here, as I told you before. Finally, the fifth one is the most coolest one. And it's the jump bar and command prompt, which initiates by pressing J on your keyboard. I call it the magic J. Let's see it in action. I'll press J. And you will notice a tiny command prompt opening in the middle. And all functions of Dorico will be available to you. So if you forget a shortcut, you can also use the magic J key to bring up what you need. Let's try two things. So imagine one day I want to modify my fermatas, but I forgot the shortcut for playback options. All I do is press J, which we already have done, and write playback options, and then press enter. Voila, this is your playback options. Or let's say I want to transpose something. Let's say I want to transpose this bar here, and easily I can just press J, I'm going to write transpose, press enter, then you have your transpose options. It's a super lovely feature. But uh, anyway, that was it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And see you in the next video. Humayun.